Welcome back, friends. Uh, continuing right where we left off. Uh, we started with this floor. I think this floor is not going to be big enough, so I'm going to have to cut down some more birch trees. i got plenty of the dark oak. That one was wrong. What kind of place is it that lives out here overlooking the river and has checkerboard wooden floors? I don't know. Sometimes I have an idea first of what sort of place I'm going for, and sometimes I just start and then decide partway through if I lived here. What kind of person would I be? What kind of person would live in a place like this? And then I can continue in the styling and decor. Yeah, okay, let's do one more row toward the... One more uh, row toward the river. Hmm. Have we any dirt? Sunset already? Days go fast, don't they? Where did I leave my bed? I don't believe it was the lookout building. It's a bit of a long trek going on. Uh... A bit antisocial. I don't want to live with the villagers. I don't want them to die, though. my home, work on a bit of village improvement, already get distracted uh, and lose track of what direction I'm coming from. That way? <laughs> no, it was that way. First direction I started off in. Pretty sure. Does that creeper just wink out of existence in the middle, just there? Where are my torches? Ugh. Maybe this way. I am so bad. Bad. My directional sense is not good. In real life or in Minecraft. Sometimes at the mall I use the, the maze-solving strategy of following the left wall or the right wall. The thing about that is I lose track of which one I'm following. Really? just work here. I probably could have brought my uh, bed with me, huh?
Okie dokie. We're getting there. Okay, one of the first steps is more birch. Let's get some of the stuff I'm not going to need for a bit. just there. I'm going to make some jack-o'-lanterns out of these pumpkins. Alright, cut down some birch trees. Cross the rebar. Very likely to be a bridge in my future. I think while I'm over there, I'm going to Pop up in the air a little bit and see a bit more of what my neighborhood's like. So this would be episode 10 by my count. Uh, I think 4 if you don't count the Cube Realm. 5 if you don't count the Cube Realm series. It's, it's a, a decent run. Record for me. Boy, I tell you what. Alright. Swamp, trees. Nothing too stunning. Trees, 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 trees. Alright. So I've settled in an area where I'm going to be the most interesting thing rather than an area that's already full of stunning beauty. Which is fine. I mean, it's nice. It is, don't get me wrong. It's lovely. Um, it is not one of the breathtaking views that Minecraft can offer. And we're going to have a little bit of creative deforestation going on. Which kind of happens when mankind moves in. I will replant. Just not right away. All right. Uh, and I'll go caving in a bit for more supplies. I've got the gardens over at the village, so I'll... The village will be my, uh... My bazaar, if you will. Or I'll go shopping. Once I make it safe. That's right, I was gonna make those guys some doors. Because I've got a few... A few buildings with no doors in them. And I know they breed according to how many homes there are in the village. And they count homes as buildings with a door and a roof, more or less. There. That's good. Now, what kind of walls? What do you reckon? Uh... Let's do cobblestone foundation. Okay. We're going to have to go get some more cobblestone. source of cobblestone. Saw some caves along the river, I thought. It's quite a river. I must explore it. Maybe this very episode. Alright, being distractible as I am, going to make our doors. Let's see. Get. That's right, 
We've got the dark oak doors now. I hope they read to the villagers as regular doors. They don't have to be oak doors. But they're probably not going to be doing any breeding until I let them out. If I expand the village enough, they may, uh, they may get a guardian. That'd be fun. They'd have a better chance of survival if they had a, an iron golem. Of course, I could make one for them. Stop eating the carrots. Look at you, eating all the carrots. Aww. Stealing those carrots. Aww. Let's Aww. see... Aww. That building needs a door. Aww. And, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about the pathfinding on this one. They just don't like it. We need to improve that path. <sighs> Alright. Take my bed with me. Did everyone? carry them around. I'm going to leave those there. Now, what was the... Hi! What are you doing? Clipping into the dirt. Uh, looking for cobblestone. And Oh, hi! What are you doing over here? All by your lonesome. What do you got to shop with? You'll buy leather for emeralds. You'll trade... Emeralds for leather pants. It's not a great deal, buddy. Did I door this whole section as well? I was right here. Man. Okay, well, there's at least one house that's open with a door that wasn't before. So you go take care of yourself. And, um... You know, I take a nap. Let's see if I can save them some trouble. There's some cobble right there. I might as well pick it up since it's in the way. Just enough to make the foundation over at the, uh, the new digs. about their pathing. There, maybe they'll use that now. There's that one guy. Well, you can't see through the dark oak doors. Anyone in there? No. Alright, so... Back to my place. Which is... I'm being confused because the river kind of circles the whole place. Not there, I don't think. Yes, there. Alright, I'm gonna have to set up a... some sort of... sign. We'll do... jack-o'-lanterns. We'll do one at the end of the road that leads toward me. I think I still have, uh, maybe in the chest, a non-jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, so I can grow more pumpkins. Can you get seeds from a jack-o'-lantern? You cannot.
feeling I won't even need to really farm livestock because it's going to be all over the place. I'll set up a bed that's actually right near where I live. Bam. Oop. Windows decided it was more important than me. It does that sometimes. At least I got rid of sticky keys. You know that thing where if you hit shift many times in a row it thinks you mean sticky keys should be on, which is some sort of... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's for, actually. I should find out someday. Still not enough cobble. Okay, I'm gonna make a boat go down the river a bit. That's not the right thing to click to make things. Boat. I'm going to make a couple boats. Because you know how boats are. Let's make three. Let's put away a lot of our stuff. Oh, I need dirt. Always keep dirt. I don't know how far I'm going. Probably not far. Mm -hmm. Let me take that gravel. Make a pillar here. In case it's hard to see where I am from, from the river. In case I get turned around some. As they say in the neck of the woods where I grew up. Yes, there is one pumpkin. Get turned around, some turned around. Turned around some. Lost. Various degrees of lost. careful because I'm not sure I can make it to the water from here. Well, that was dangerous as my my spawn bed had moved and I could be going any, you know, way back to the beginning of the map. Right, up or down this way. I don't know how far I'll get. I know rivers sometimes sort of Ah, good. I couldn't remember if uh if I or the lily pads were going to win. So sometimes the, the rivers sort of peter out. Uh, stop. Stop. If you're going to be that fragile, you need to turn better or not go as fast. Good thing those uh, guardians don't grow in rivers. They will hit you through a boat. Alright, well, that's as far as it goes. Did it drop itself or just disappear? Ah, there it is. I was going to say, otherwise, it'd be better to crash it. Alright, and the river continues into the forest. Alright, I'll make a bigger expedition later. Right now I'm going to focus on building home. As long as I can keep my attention. Oh, got the boat. Might as well put it back in the water. You don't deplete your hunger bar when you're in a boat. You do when you're swimming. the way? Yeah, it's just kind of a narrow bit here. There's my gravel. Hey, 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 hey! Come back! I may make a little, uh, Boat launch. I've seen a few designs for boat launches that, in theory, don't break the boats. Alright, still need some uh, cobble to at least finish the frame here. If I were cobble, 
If I were stone, I may just have to dig down for it. I'll have to do, oop. It's a pass-through cave, which is a good thing, because I have no torches on me. And that one looks like it goes somewhere. But for now, we'll just dig up some more ca 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 cobblestone. Sorry if this is really dark in the video. I'm told videos on YouTube are a bit darker than they are in the recording. I guess I'll find out. We'll find out together. It's very dark. I may try to brighten it up in post. Which uh, sounds more impressive than it is. Pretty much doing everything on bare minimum, at least for Windows-based. Recording with a free program, Fraps. I'm editing with the program that comes with Windows, uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, which seems best designed for allowing grannies to make slideshows of their grandkids. But I do what I can, and I do some sound editing with Audacity. All free stuff. I paid for Minecraft, but everything else I'm using is free for the moment. Um, the headset is, in fact, a hand-me-down from a friend who got a better one. It has no pop filter. It doesn't have the little foam bit. Uh, so if I do much more of this, I'm going to invest in something along those lines, because... To my ear, at least, it's something I need. Sunset's coming. Um, Alright, so, this is going to be the main room of the building. We know that much. I like doing kind of corners. What will the walls be made of? You know, I'd like to use some baked clay stuff. Can I find enough clay in the river, do you think? How are we doing for night? I think I may go clay hunting in the river. This may not need to be something you need to watch. I don't know. Maybe you do. I find watching videos, I sometimes get disappointed with the, with the cuts. Because I don't mind watching people mine and build. It's kind of what I watch it for. Whoops. It's a very watchable game. Don't know why. Can't quite figure it out. Need some torches. Right. There's definitely a big cave nearby. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing that one down the way would make. Maybe over a, a ravine or something. Oh, there's a cave. A dirt cave. Is that where I was? No. Yes. <sighs> See what I told you about Sense of Direction? <laughs> Alright. Now, uh, material. I Like I say, I'd like some of the baked clay, hardened clay, in some color. So... Oh, one of my speakers just fell off the edge of the desk. Stupid thing. How much clay do I have in the thingy? I have 48 balls, which will turn into 48 bricks, which will turn into uh, one quarter as many clay blocks. Oh, wait, no. I'm... No, wait. No, no, no. I don't want to turn it into bricks. I want to turn it into blocks first. Right? Is that how that works? Yes, that's how that works. And then, I can harden it 
it'll become hardened clay, and I can color the hardened clay. I've done that before. I was I was looking to make hardened clay, and I made like a thousand bricks. Oh, God damn it! Got to do it in the right order. Clay. It tends to show up in these shaped patches, in rivers. Other bodies of water. I don't think in deep oceans. I've never seen it. And it's a bit of a challenge to dig out because it gets very slow to dig anything when you're underwater. Right, clay? No, I just dug sand. Well, clay usually shows up like that. <laughs> My plan of using uh, colored hardened clay may be... That's clay. And I'm about to drown. Bam! Alright. So I need to go make a torch, because... If you want to breathe underwater, that's a useful tool. And if you're digging as slowly as that, you get about one block per breath of air. So. One piece of coal. Oh, I can make another block. And we have any sticks? Sheep. Very important to have torches when you're underwater. If you're unfamiliar with the torch trick, I will demonstrate it for you momentarily. It's best not to assume that everyone watching has experience in everything. I mean, in fact, people who've been playing a long time sometimes don't know that. You place the torch, gives you a little pocket of air briefly, and, uh, you know, the water washes the torch away, but you pick it up again. And dunk. Easy peasy. I I really heard a skeleton just now. That sand. Where is there a skeleton with an earshot? Interesting. No, that's clay. It's a lot of clay. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. I must have missed that air pocket or something. It can happen. Alright, so we got exactly a stack. Which gives only 16 blocks. So I wonder, should I use you know, the, the hardened clay, just in that original kind of reddish-brown color for the house. I kind of like white. You know, I've got a bunch of bones. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can do white hardened clay, what that looks like. Is it like this? Yes. 
I don't know. It's a nice color and all. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. We'll do that. We'll do white hardened clay. So we've got all of eight. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit resource intensive. For the amount of work it takes to find the stuff. Right ho, so checking my timer. We're about done for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I often feel like I don't get nearly enough done. But hey, we got start on a house. We did a little bit of exploring. Uh, we found a village. What more can you want? We'll maybe do some caving later. Right, 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 right. One more, one more. And at least the, the hardened clay doesn't get destroyed when you break it. That would suck. Alright, so make a little more. Probably shear these sheep and get some more colored materials from them. I should very much like to get some cactus so I can get some green wool. Alright, so we'll leave you at that. Where's the sun? Right, right in midday. Come here, so next time I come on, I'll have an easier time remembering what's going on. Good night, people. Yeah.